Hi, my name is Paul Fritz, and today I am going to show you a teacher hack about how to use Pivo so that it will track you inside the classroom. Um, when we start back in face instruction, and we also still have remote learners, we're going to need to have to be able to communicate to both at the same time. And in order to do that, having a system that can track us and move around the classroom a little bit to uh, watch us will be useful. And in this case, PIVO is one of the answers that we have come up with at my school. PIVO is this right here. It's a little tiny cameraman that kind of moves around and allows it to follow us using an app on our cell phone. But by itself, we can't use this and our cell phone together as a webcam. We have to come up with a separate webcam, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. All right, so a couple things about Pivo. You can purchase it directly from their website. You can also now purchase it on Amazon, uh, Amazon.com. There's a couple different versions, the red version and the silver version. You can see there's a price difference between them. And if you can wait a little while, you can purchase it for a lot less on their website. It may take a few days for it to get in, but it's not terrible. But if you have to do a, lot, a large purchase through your school, maybe the Amazon.com process might be better. You might be able to reach out to Pivo and see if they can give you some sort of a discount as well. And that's what we were able to do. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into uh, getting this set up so that it can track us around the classroom. Go ahead and wind that. And basically what it is, is these that I have here on the table, so we start off with this little device here, our PIVO, which is where we'll place our cell phone. And there's a couple different ways you can place the phone. And then also a webcam. And we also are going to need quarter 20 by half inch. You can use a little bit smaller in length, but they still need to be a quarter 20. That's the standard camera size uh, for, for PIVO or for a any uh, camera. So, go ahead and track a little bit here. All right. So, here is our PIVO. Great thing about the PIVO is it has these little legs that come out on the side to stabilize it if you want to just use it on the desktop by itself. The other thing with PIVO is it has a standard camera mount on the bottom so that you can uh, screw this uh, onto a tripod such as this. All right, so the hack that we came up with was we needed to put a webcam on top of the phone. This mount that you can buy through Pebo also, uh, and you might be able to come up with something different, but this particular one you purchased through Pebo. Uh, it's originally designed to be able to mount onto the Pebo itself right here, but uh, what we needed to do um, was come up with a way to mount the cell phone and the webcam. So using a standard webcam, you want to make sure that you get a webcam that has a camera mount size on it as well. In uh, this case, this is one that we had purchased a while back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular mount off. If you can take your mount off, that might be the best way. But in this one, there's a screw on the inside. I'm going to unscrew it. And then I'm going to take this piece right here that holds the mount. So I'm going to set the mount off to the side. I don't need that anymore. And this one has a little groove inside of it. There's a little groove here, so you want to line those back up. Yours may not, depending on the camera that you're using. And I'm just going to screw this back on. Bring the line up right here. Okay, that's together. Now what I want to do is I want to use this quarter 20 by half inch screw bolt. And I'm going to put it up here, screw it on the underside so it sticks up through there just enough to be able to mount the camera onto it. Rotate it around a little bit. Working the way in. 
I don't have the screw all the way up in there. If you have a shorter screw, you can obviously put it in further, but uh, this is enough to hold it in place. You want to make sure it's good and snug. You may also want to follow up with a screwdriver and tighten it just a little bit. Remember, this is plastic though, so don't over tighten it. Okay. So now I've got that mounted together. I like to put my phone sideways on here, mounted sideways. And it's just a little screw to hold it on like this. The reason why I put it sideways is so that I can uh, also charge my phone while I am uh, operating it because it does run down your battery pretty quick. Then all I do is I just put the camera on here, put this, open this up. A little tough one-handed, maybe easier to do it before you put it on here. And mount it up here like this. Now it's a little wobbly because I don't have those legs out on it. I've got everything all put together. Just put it up here on my tripod. Little legs out here. Okay. And on top, there's a little bubble that just change here a little bit. So now basically we've got it mounted up like that. There's a little bubble right up here to help you level everything. You're standing up straight. Okay. I've got my camera sitting up here and I've got my cable. Need to move this a little bit. My reach. I want to pull my camera over. Okay. So now you've got that all set up. What you need to do is you need to go into the App Store and download the app from Pivo. It's just the Pivo app. And it's just this little app right here. And you can see that it's tracking me now. It sees me. Actually, I don't have people turned on, so it's not tracking anything. you got to make sure people's on. There's also a charging port on Pivo. You can have it plugged in at the same time while you're charging, while you're working, so Pivo stays charged as well. Now, this is really kind of stretched out here, so let me move this back a little bit. So that when it rotates, it doesn't pull the camera over. So now, once I have people on, and I come here, there's these little symbols. There's one with a little square box and a line through it. You can click on that. It says you want to connect. And go ahead and connect the Pivo. All right, successful. And then now, click back on that little box again. Select the AI so it tracks me. And then select the body so it tracks my body. So now when I move around, people will track me. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see if you can see it here. Using this app, using Zoom, and go into my video settings and change it over to this camera here. And there we have it. So if I step back a little bit, I can move around and you see that people starts to track me. tracking wherever I go. Alright, so that was just a real quick um, demonstration of what we can do to be able to get people set up so that now I can talk to my class that I'm teaching in face-to-face -face and my class online at the same time. Um, another thing that we may want to do is for audio. So audio could be set up using sort of a, uh, we use light speed in our classroom. So we have this little microphone, this wireless microphone. You can set up a wireless microphone and using a device such as this, you can connect it into your laptop. Because if your laptop is like the ones that we have, when we take a look at the input here, 
on the side. It's supposed to do both microphone and headset, but plugging it in just one output for the for the headset for the wireless, it doesn't work. You get one choice of one or the other. You won't be able to hear them or they won't be able to hear you. So by using a USB adapter with the microphone and headset opposite or separate, then you can take them and plug them into the back of the uh, wireless system and still be able to hear and speak at the same time over the system so that they can hear you remotely and they can also hear you in the classroom as well. All right, that's all I have for today. So if you have any questions, please post them down at the bottom and I hope this helps you out. Take care.